Thanks, Rance. I'd like to introduce Tyra Walker. She's the host of ITG Next that airs here on Channel 4. And this is a great show because you're putting the spotlight on student athletes all over Florida, but obviously you're based here. So can you give an overview of what the viewers can expect? Absolutely. Well, first off, thank you for having me on the show. It's so nice to meet you. But yeah, so ITG Next stands for In the Game. And pretty much we are all about highlighting and showcasing our high school athletes here in the local area, as well as coaches, organizations, you name it. So we have the TV show comes on every Saturday at noon, also on the CW at 1130. And so I'm the host and I just talk about sports all day. Sports in Florida is huge. I mean, it is in a lot of states, but I think it's yes. particularly large here. There's a lot of student athletes. Let me ask you this. How challenging is it? Because there's so much going on all the time for you to even find a piece of spotlight when there's so many of them. Absolutely. I mean, research is a big part of it, <laughs> but I'm so thankful not to be by myself. We also have a small team in Georgia. So we're also located. Our headquarters is in Valdosta. So we're all researching Florida sports, Georgia sports, and to just get those athletes out there. We look at recruiting sites as well, just who's who's doing, getting the numbers, who's making those touchdowns or those those goals. And we just try our best to just re highlight everyone. And then can families submit to you? Because again, yes. there's so much happening all the time. And how would they do that? Highly recommended because, you know, it's me a lot of times like researching. So you can always email me at Tyra at ITG Next, or you can go to visit our website, www.itgnext.com. There you can find all the latest news in Florida and surrounding states of what's going on in sports. Not just football, basketball too, weightlifting. There's a lot of female wrestlers here in Jacksonville that are doing it up. So. Yeah. Female empowerment, so we, we highlight our females too, but any sport, you name it, we're covering it. And you know, I'm glad that you said that because a lot of times, let's just say young girls out there might not know those sports exist for them, but watching yeah. a show like this, it opens their eyes. We're like, you know what, in the next couple of years, I could do that. So it's really important. One of the things I was going to ask is that, obviously it's Florida, there's a lot of great athletes. Right. Any feature stories that you did where they became pros or next level, Collegiate stars, Olympics. Yes, just recently, Rena Davis, she was a graduate at Reebok High School. She just drafted to the WNBA and she was our cover girl. Um, other people, Jeff Sims, Tyree Sanders, they're off to go doing great things in college. We even got the chance to interview Tim Tebow and Nick Foles. So even on the professional level, um, this young lady right here, eight years old, but a black belt, power lifter, weight lifter, so much. So she's phenomenal too. So these are just, some of the few athletes that have gone on to do amazing things. Yeah, I mean, talk about great TV, because again, you're always looking for something to watch together as a family. And here you are with young local role models that can actually really, you know, shape how kids grow up, you know, because they could, you know, live their lives like they did. Yeah, and I was not athletic growing up. <laughs> so I'm inspired even when I meet these young kids and their story. Everyone has a story. Sure. And a lot of these athletes, they work so hard. I've, I've, I, the, some of the most hardworking people I've ever met. So I love highlighting them, getting to know them, their parents. Their parents are always excited to get their child highlighted. So it's just an incredible. I, I love doing, I love hosting, and I love interviewing these awesome kids. You also mentioned, too, real quick, there's a lot of coaches that you'll do stories on. Yeah. And if you think about all the time and dedication that they give up, even away from their own families, to help yes. raise these kids and shape them, you know, yes. it's very inspiring. One yes. more time, if people want to learn more about the show, tune in and watch it. Where can yes, they go? Yes, you can go um, CW every Saturday at 11.30 a.m. and then right here on WJXT at 12 noon every Saturday. I'm going to be in your living room or your TVs talk, talking to you about high school athletes and we also have a pop-up shop coming up soon at the Town Center in May, starting May 13th, right across from Pandora to buy our merchandise. Thank you so much. We appreciate yes, it. thank you. Stick around more to come right after this. Bye.